I didn't agree that this gentleman over the age of 18 spent the night at the house. I felt protective over Lily Rose. With Amber Heard's loss at the Fairfax court, Johnny Depp's ex-wife and children have come out to talk about how Amber Heard treated them while she was still married to Johnny Depp. From all indications, it doesn't look like Vanessa Paradise has any praise for the actress. Now that she has broken her silence, it's time to find out what Amber Heard's relationship with Lily Rose Depp looked like. In this video, we'll be revealing Vanessa Paradise's statement on how Amber Heard treated Lily Rose Depp. So be sure to stick around until the end because number one is guaranteed to shock you. Before we begin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and leave a comment below saying I have subscribed and I will personally reply to your comment. So let's begin. Number five, how Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise met. Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise's relationship didn't start when they first met. According to a source close to the ex-couple, the Jack Sparrow actor and the French singer met for the first time in her native country, France, and that was way back in 1994. The source said the pair's meeting at the time was very brief and formal because at the time, Johnny Depp and Kate Moss, whom he met at New York's Cafe Tabac in the early 90s, were still dating. The Fantastic Beast actor and Kate Moss dated until they both called off their relationship in 1997, after more than three years together. According to Johnny Depp, the reason his well-publicized relationship with Kate Moss ended was because he gave more attention to his actions than he gave to his ex-fiancee at the time. In an interview with Hello Magazine in 1998, Johnny Depp told the publication, I have been so stupid because we had so much going for our relationship. He went on further to say, I'm the one who has to take responsibility for what happened. I was difficult to get on with. I let my work get in the way, and I didn't give her the attention I should have. After ending his relationship with Kate Moss, Vanessa Paradise came into the picture. Although the first time the now co-parents met was in 1994, their second time seeing each other was in 1998, when Johnny Depp was in Paris filming Ninth Gate. In an interview with the Daily Mail in 2011, Johnny Depp said seeing Vanessa Paradise for the second time changed him from being a single man into a family man. Number 4. Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise's Relationship Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise's relationship started off on a good note in 1998. The couple welcomed their first child, a girl, Lily Rose, born in her mother's country, France. Three years later, Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise welcomed another child, Jack Christopher III, in 2002. Their relationship was blossoming, and with two children together, most people at the time thought that the Captain Jack actor and Vanessa Paradise's relationship was built to last. But did it? It was in 2012 that the ex-couple released a joint statement that they would be separating. Interestingly, they never tied the knot legally, and when they announced their separation, it was like two friends choosing to go their separate ways. The only difference being that Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise already had two children together. In a public release to Entertainment Tonight at the time, Johnny Depp's publicist confirmed the separation and asked the public to respect the decisions of the ex-couple, particularly their privacy and that of their children. Number three, why did Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise separate? There are different sides to the story regarding why Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise fell apart. Some of the clues leading to their separation could be traced to the ex-couple not tying the knot. According to a reliable source, getting married would have restricted either of the two, and because they both wanted to create an easy exit route when things turned sour, they chose to leave marriage out. However, Johnny Depp claimed that he didn't consider tying the knot because he felt an official marriage would alter her name. A source close to Vanessa Paradise gave a different account. According to the source, it was Vanessa Paradise that actually wanted things to end because she wanted to build her career. If she continued her relationship with the Pirates of the Caribbean actor, the chances of that happening was very slim. There is also the cheating allegation between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard at the time. Some sources believe the main reason Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise had a fallout was that Johnny Depp was allegedly cheating on her with Amber Heard, whom he met while filming The Rum Diary in 2011. 
According to those sources, while Johnny Depp and Vanessa Paradise were still together, the Aquaman actress was frequenting his house, although she was also in a relationship with Taza Van Rie at the time. The rumor was strengthened by two major factors. The first was when Johnny Depp got married to Amber Heard in 2015, and the second was when he told an audience in 2016, 31st Santa Barbara International Film Festival, that Amber Heard actually got into his head. Johnny Depp said, she was in my head, so I tracked her down. We tracked each other down, actually. Incidentally, it was amazing. Number two, the Johnny Depp and Amber Heard fallout. After officially getting married to Amber Heard in 2015, the Hollywood couple's marriage was instantly hit with the accusation of infidelity and domestic harm. By 2016, the couple couldn't hold the fort any longer. The situation just got worse when Amber Heard filed for a restraining order against Johnny Depp before later filing for divorce, citing domestic harm as the cause of her action. In the end, the ex-couple agreed to an out-of-court settlement, with Johnny Depp agreeing to pay Amber Heard $7 million in a divorce settlement, which she promised to donate to the ACLU and other charities. With the divorce finalized in 2017, Amber Heard, now an ambassador for the ACLU, wrote an op-ed, which was published by the Washington Post in 2018. Johnny Depp found some of the lines in the piece slanderous towards his image, especially where Amber Heard wrote, I spoke up against violence and faced our culture's wrath. That has to change. Although Johnny Depp's name was not mentioned in the op-ed, he still filed a defamation suit anyway. The defamation suit was first filed against the UK Sun because the news platform termed him as an assailant. Although Johnny Depp lost his case against the UK tabloid in a 16-day trial, the actor filed another 50 million defamatory suit against Amber Heard in the US state of Virginia, where he eventually had a big win in 2022 after six weeks of hearing by the Fairfax court. Number one, Amber Heard and Lily Rose Depp's relationship. Throughout the time Johnny Depp and Amber Heard's relationship lasted, we can't say for sure the level of relationship between Johnny Depp's first child, Lily Rose, and his ex-wife, Amber Heard. However, we started having a clue of what things might have looked like between Lily Rose Depp and Amber Heard when she rushed to her father's defense against Amber Heard in 2016. Part of the reason Amber Heard ended her marriage to Johnny Depp was based on the allegation that Johnny Depp was an abusive partner. However, in a swift reaction, Lily Rose Depp made her intention known, particularly coming out to support her father at a time when most people did want to be associated with the Captain Jack Sparrow actor. In a post on her verified Instagram account, Lily Rose Depp captioned an old photo, My dad is the sweetest, most loving person I know. He's been nothing but a wonderful father to my little brother and me, and everyone who knows him would say the same. Another pointer that showed all might not be well between Lily Rose Depp and Amber Heard was in April 2022 during the court hearing between Johnny Depp and Amber Heard at the Fairfax court. While on the stand, Johnny Depp told the court that the reason his daughter didn't attend his marriage ceremony to Amber Heard in 2015 was that things weren't cool between the two. The revelation generated a big debate on social media, with mostly unfavorable comments being targeted at Amber Heard. One fan even posted, wow, Lily Rose didn't come to the wedding because of Amber? I can imagine how much that hurt him, knowing his wife was keeping his little girl away. Another user also cited a source that claimed Lily Rose Depp once wrote a letter to Amber Heard saying she doesn't like the way her father is being treated. Also, her mother, Vanessa Paradise, has been a major supporter of Johnny Depp ever since his legal battle with Amber Heard started in the UK. The singer went as far as providing a written statement to the UK court to explain the kind of man Johnny Depp was to her and her children. Although Lily Rose Depp did not issue any statement during her father's trial at the US court, the young actress has consistently stated that she is always open to the idea of working alongside her father on a project in the future. The two had worked on a film together in the past, including Never Say Never. Also during the trial at the Fairfax court, Johnny Depp told the jurors that one of the reasons he was fighting to clear his name of the assailant allegation put forward against him by Amber Heard is because he wants to stand up for his children, Lily Rose Depp and Jack Depp, who were 16 and 14 years old at the time of the allegation in 2016. 
And that's a wrap for today's video. You can let us know what you think in the comments section, and if you enjoyed today's video, we bet you'll enjoy the others we have for you. So don't hesitate to hit that like button and hit the subscribe button to get up to date on all of our amazing videos. And hit the notification bell so you never have to miss an update from our channel. Do you want to keep the entertainment rolling? Well, check out this related video to see more. And I'll see you in the next video.